Tonight, a water tank explosion has left two families feeling helpless and angry. They are facing tens of thousands of dollars in damages and could be on the hook to pay for all of it. Amanda Henderson joins us live with a story you will see only on KHRU 11 News tonight. Amanda. You can imagine the frustration, especially given the fact that these families learned that the entity where this water tank is located, it has governmental immunity because it's part of the state which means they're on the hook to pay for any damages as of right now, and it's left them feeling absolutely frustrated. What you're seeing is no home renovation project. All this was brand new. Kevin Jennings will be the first to tell you right now things are currently out of place. It just feels so helpless. Uh... But, you know, I feel like I've lost everything. These damages are the result of an explosion at the Reed Road Municipal Utility District number one's storage tank, pouring gallons upon gallons of water into nearby homes, including Jennings and its next door neighbors, the Steiners. We're in the same ship together. We just hope that it's not the Titanic, but like now it's kind of looking like the Titanic. The bottom floor of both homes have been gutted as a result of water damage. I'm done. I got mad. This right here used to be a wall and this right here used to be a window, but the water that came from the tank, it knocked them both out cleanly. Now all of these repairs, homeowners, it's coming out of their pocket to pay for. The explosion occurred in July, but both families are speaking out now after receiving a letter from the legal counsel of Reed Road Mud Number no. 1. It says the land the tank is on is a state unit and therefore protected by governmental immunity. The letter goes on to say that the immunity can be waived under limited circumstances, but the family's claims do not qualify, meaning their claims can be rejected. I was kicked in the gut when I got that letter last night. Now both families are looking to what comes next and feeling as though responsibility is being passed along. I don't care whose fault it is. Was it the pipe maker or the engineer? It wasn't the Jennings fault. It wasn't my fault. And you can just hear how devastated they are and both families say that devastation and frustration. Well, it's only expounded upon because they care for elderly family members, so they've had to really make do with what they've got right now. Now, they also both say that they've reached out to their insurance companies, but because the word explosion has been used, those cases they're being looked into right now, so they don't have a timetable on how long this could take. From Northwest Houston, I'm Amanda Henderson, KHOU 11 News. Such an unbelievable and frustrating ordeal. We certainly feel for them. Amanda, thank you.